Felicia, today marks the third annual Tall City New Year's Calf Roping Blowout. This event will be in full swing starting today until New Year's Day. That's right, Tatum. I saw West Texans' excitement as 466 of them went from being residents to U.S. citizens. That's right, Shannon. With so much development going on in West Texas, contractors in the industry say the Permian Basin is overrun with work and some customers are being taken advantage of. Folks, two bridges have been hit in the past two months, like this one behind me on I-20 and West Loop 250 in Midland. Felicia, today marks the third annual Tall City New Year's Calf Roping Blowout. This event will be in full swing starting today until New Year's Day. Nearly 200 competitors of all ages lined up their horses to take advantage of every second of the clock in a time competition. The winner will go home with a hefty payout. It's a jackpot event. It's a chance to tune up before the big rodeos the winner and win a lot of money. That's the first two days and then they have a junior event for the kids. And it's 19 down to 9. 9 and under to 19 and under. I've been roping calves for about four years and uh, I've had a rope in my hand ever since I was a little bitty. I've always been on a horse and uh, you, know, it, you know, I finally decided that I, this is what I wanted to do and I, I stuck with it. Today they gather nearly 150 spectators by midday. And organizers say that by New Year's Day, there will be more than 400 competitors giving it all they've got. And the proceeds gathered from the following days will go to junior rodeo associations in our area. Roping judges said that there will be a New Year's Eve dance tonight and a barbecue lunch for contestants on New Year's Day. For more information, please go to our website, cbs7.com. In the newsroom, Abraham Ruiz, CBS 7 News. With your eye on Texas tonight, it's been a very patriotic weekend for a particular group of West Texans. More than 400 people were sworn in at the first naturalization ceremony of 2013. It happened at the El Paso Convention Center. CBS 7's Abe Ruiz was there and joins us now with more. That's right, Tatum. I saw West Texans' excitement as 466 of them went from being residents to U.S. citizens. Among them, 18 military members who have dreamed of this day becoming a reality for a long time. In today's ceremony, we had 18 military members. And what's important to note, they were not yet citizens of the United States, but they had demonstrated their willingness to defend and fight for the United States. And you saw the excitement because it's a big, big day for them to become citizens of this country. How important is this for you? Talk to the library a little bit. Um, yeah, well, obviously very important. It's, I feel proud to be uh, you know, a U.S. citizen, the best country in the world. Um, it's, uh, it's an awesome feeling. Midland and Hector counties haven't had a naturalization ceremony due to courts being overcrowded. We uh, work with the court in Midland to try to do ceremonies whenever we can in the Midland area. And uh, we're going to try to get out there this year and do a naturalization ceremony. Reporting for CBS 7 News, I'm Abraham Ruiz. That's right, Shannon. With so much development going on in West Texas, contractors in the industry say the Permian Basin is overrun with work and some customers are being taken advantage of. One West Texas woman says she paid a contractor for a job in full, but then the work was never finished, even after she confronted the contractor and went to the city for help. To the city, we went to the police department. We tried everything we could to hold them accountable. and. Um, there's no accountability. Number one is are they even registered with the city of Odessa? That's one requirement is that we have to be registered with the city. A lot of people believe that you have to be licensed in the state of Texas, which is uh, not correct. But we do have to be registered in the county of which we work. One of the other things is, is that, you know, references, references, references. And Taylor also advises you to do your research before hiring anyone to do the job for you. That would help you avoid an expensive lawsuit down the road. In the newsroom, Abraham Ruiz, CBS 7 News. CBS 7 News at 10 starts right now. Tatum, thanks very much. For the second time in the past two months, an overpass bridge was hit by a truck, causing damage and forcing traffic to be detoured. But as CBS 7's Abraham Ruiz reports, these are happening far too often. That's right, Jay. I'm standing right underneath the bridge at the intersection of Highway 191 and Faudry Road in East Odessa. As you can see behind me, there is tarp covering that beam. Uh, TxDOT just covered it to uh, prevent any debris from falling. The driver of the truck was not injured and there was not another vehicle traveling at the same time of the wreck. According to the Odessa Police Department and TxDOT, this wreck happened a little after 8 o'clock this Sunday morning involving a 18-wheeler from the company known as Triple H with facilities out of Odessa. And if you remember our previous reports, this marks the third wreck involving a truck and a bridge in the Permian Basin. 
definitely raising some safety concerns. So the latest is that the intersection has been opened up and is ready for Monday morning commuters. Reporting in East Odessa, Abraham Ruiz, CBS 7 News. Back to you, Jay. Abraham, thanks.